Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to recreate an ASAP Rocky style Instagram feed or theme. So let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you guys how to set this up. Alright, so entering into Photoshop, I actually have all of my photos ready and open. So either you can have yours ready on the desktop or open in Photoshop, but you just want to select a couple photos that you want to put together in your collage. So assuming that we're going to do this for Instagram, let's open up a new document, so File, New, and a typical Instagram size is 1080 by 1080 pixels, so you can get the highest resolution. So I'll do 1080 by 1080, and I'll press Create Document. So now we have our blank document open, and this is where we can begin arranging our collage. So the first thing you want to think about is, what do you want the background to be? You could do literally anything here. You notice on his feed, he does like a lot of crayon sketches and colored pencils and water effects. So you could either draw some stuff and scan it on your printer or take a photo of it and drag it in here. You could find free stock photos on the internet or you could create and blend textures that already exist and are available in Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use what's available in Photoshop. So for my background, I'm going to go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern. So in this Pattern Fill menu, I can choose from a bunch of Photoshop's presets. And if you hit the cogwheel, you can see there's artist surfaces, textures, papers, stuff like that. So here's one that I found under Texture Fill 2, and it's this one right here. And you can adjust the scale of it to be larger or smaller if you like. And you can also click and drag it around to position it where you want. And press OK when you're ready. Now I'm also going to add some color to this since I know that I want a kind of bluish theme for this. So I'm going to go to a layer and create another new fill layer except this time let's select gradient. Now under the gradients I'm going to go to my drop down menu and I like going to the cogwheel and I'll select simple gradients and here I'll be able to find a bunch of color to white gradients. So I'll select this blue one and actually I'll double click it and instead of white I'll replace that with another blue color so more of a darkish blue. And I'll press OK. You can adjust more things in this menu like the style of gradient, radial, the scale of it and the positioning of it just like the other fill layers and press OK when you're happy with your gradient. But what I'm actually doing with this is I'm going to set it onto a blending mode like overlay, soft light, or multiply to add a little bit of color mixed in with that texture. So I'll set it to multiply, I like how that looks, and I'll turn the opacity down to about 75%. Alright, so now let's create our frames for us to drag our photos into. So I'm going to go to layer, new layer, now at this point, keep in mind, there's tons of free templates that people provide on stock websites like Polaroid picture templates and even like Adobe Stock is pushing a whole bunch of templates in this new version of Photoshop. But I'll show you how to create it from scratch using Photoshop's default brushes. So grab your brush tool on this new layer and if you go to your default brushes and scroll all the way down, if you don't see this, click the cogwheel and reset brushes, press OK. If you scroll all the way down, you should see some of these weird grainy brushes. So if you select this last one, which is kind of like a noise or a rough brush, you can actually paint in a kind of a frame for where you want your picture to be. So I know I have three photos, so I'm just using the default white color. It doesn't matter what color you use. And I'll click and I'll kind of paint out a square that I want this photo to fit into. And I'll show you how that's going to work. But this is what's going to give you that torn edge look that you might see in ASAP Rocky's own feed. So there's one square, I'll just create a new layer each time and I'll create three more squares for me to position the photos into. Also keep in mind you're arranging a collage so just like you would be doing it by hand you want to consider things like shape and balance and weight and things like that. Remember also that you can move around these different squares once you're done. You can grab the move tool, move things around, and you can even press command T and transform things. So once you have things somewhat in position, here's where you want to go to your photos that you have prepared and either drag them in from your desktop or if you have them all open in Photoshop, you can go to Window, Arrange, and Tile all your open documents vertically or horizontally and then at this point you can just click, drag the layers onto your original document one by one. Once you have everything onto the original document, you can go back to Window, arrange and then consolidate everything back into tabs so that you can begin working again. 
So these photos that I had were a lot larger than the 1080 by 1080 document. So what I'm first going to do is press Command T and then just find a corner of the photo and then holding Shift I can scale things down. So once you have things scaled down to a reasonable size that you want, you want to position your photo over the layer that you want to place it in. So if I want to place this in this first bottom layer, I can position it directly on top and then go to Layer, Create, Clipping Mask. And what that's going to do is it's going to place this photo within the bounds of that shape layer right underneath it. So now you can move it around and place it and it's going to stay in that layer. So next you just want to repeat that same process with the remaining photos. And this time I'll just use the shortcut Option Command G to create that clipping mask and position things. From here if you actually just hold Shift and grab both of the two layers at once you can move things around and reorganize them. So if I wanted this layer to be behind this layer I can grab both of those layers and move everything underneath and then position things that way. But that's essentially how you create that torn paper with a texture in the back kind of hand done photo collage that ASAP Rocky's Instagram feed often showcases. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it showed you a couple things on how to set your feed up like ASAP Rocky's cool little collage style. If you guys did enjoy this video, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho, connect with me. I love to check out your feed, give you guys feedback and definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos and check out some of my other Instagram theme videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.